the blind pig, which is one of the few moments in the film where we get the real magical world. The blind pig is a speakeasy, and we're in New York in 1926. Prohibition was fully underway. The notion of prohibition at that time, specifically here in the wizarding community, there are all types of people. There's jazz and sleaze and kind of untrustworthy gangsters in here, and we had a great time shooting here. <laughs> It's like a speakeasy, just full of charm and full of beautifully imaginative, strange detail. This is an underground situation, hence the vaulted ceiling. We've got as much character into this complex of tunnels and caverns as we possibly could. It's absolutely dripping in nicotine-stained filth and runs and effervescence from the mortar. It's seedy but it's a place you wouldn't mind coming and having a drink, picking up abroad, you know, getting your swagger on. There's a come-hither quality to it. I don't care how cynical you are, you're gonna come into this world wide-eyed and full of wonder. You, you want a real good time? Show up at the Blind Pig. We've got Narlac, who is the bar owner, played by Ron Perlman. It is the first section, three sitting down, second to the second section. Now we're going to do the whole thing. Wow, it's wow. like theatre. Like live TV. They could just remember the lines. In this film, compared to what we did with Harry Potter, the goblins then were approached as prosthetics. Here we're making them fully digital characters because we want to cast the right person and then not be bound by the human form. So we've designed a, a mini Ron. What we did with him is we did a facial capture as he's performing. That's a that's a boat truckle. They pick locks, am I right? <laughs> they use the performance as a jumping off point to render a character that exists somewhere outside of nature. <laughs> and then later on, the computer solves all of those expressions. You get 70% of the performance from that, then it's animation on top of that. What it means is it's fantastic to get you a long way there very quickly, but as always, it's the final 20% that will take us the eight months. You ask a lot of questions, scamming the... that can get you killed. Could you imagine that every time you move your arm or your hand, you're leaving these wonderful trails right on it? No. Where the truck gets snapped up his best club, and the belly wakes a part of twelve. Rob Bliss was our concept artist on some of the characters and also on the instruments in the band. You'll see the piano, first sight appears to be an upright piano, but in fact it's an upright grand piano. The splendid sort of piece de resistance is the brass instrument, which is based on a sousaphone, but incorporates trumpet, bagpipes, trombone. So we had good fun doing this, I have to say. The Blind Pink was one of the fun sets to be involved yeah. because it's quite funny and everyone that goes there are criminals and so and you have to have your wanted poster there too. My favourite set principally because you got to see all the wanted posters and I just flipping loved those posters in the Harry Potter films. There's a wanted newt poster, and I got to film the moving wanted posters. It was a small but brilliant moment in my life. Yeah.